Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park has had a pretty busy spring this year after welcoming several new arrivals. The latest of the additions have seen proud parents Ralph, Cara and Annie welcome two new ring-tailed lemurs to the park in Edgbaston. Uh, the Wildlife Park were a wonderful facility for children and for families to, to, to come to for a day out. But besides you know, being a place to, to visit, we have got a lot of important conservation work. At the moment, we're involved with a number of international breeding programmes, golden lion tamarins, yellow-breasted capuchin monkeys, which are behind me, pied tamarins, ring-tailed lemurs, gentle lemurs. And fortunately, this year particularly, we've had a lot of important births. We've had twins for our golden lion tamarins. We've had another yellow-breasted capuchin monkey born. We've had twins with our ring-tailed lemurs. And the newborn's arrivals means much more than just giving visitors the opportunity to see the babies grow. We have a number of really important species that were part of international programmes. Golden lion tamarins, golden headed lion tamarins, yellow breasted capuchin monkeys, gentle lemurs, pied tamarins, to name but a few. If I can put it in context, in the world yellow breasted capuchins are down to less than 300. Pied tamarins are classed now as Amazonia's rarest primate, so every single individual that we can produce goes part of a, a stable breeding programme, a captive programme, so that in the eventuality of animals becoming extinct in the world, there's that possibility that we could eventually reintroduce them. Les also feels that the breeding programme in place at the Conservation Park puts Birmingham on the map. I think what's wonderful about it is that Birmingham has now got an important conservation site. Although we're small, our niche is that we keep and breed some of the world's rarest animals and we do really participate both in breeding animals in captivity but we also participate by providing much needed revenue to conservation programmes in situ in, in the animal's country of origin. And for Les, this is something that he's always wanted. I started in zoos almost 40 years ago now and I said that the pinnacle of working in zoos for me personally would be to breed golden lion tamarins and this year we've bred our first uh, twins golden lion tamarins so that's fantastic for me. And if seeing them isn't enough, visitors are also being invited to name the playful newborns. This is Roshni Patel for the Midland at Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park.